Hi, Peter Nolette here. I'm the product manager of Site Power Thrusters with Intracorp, and I'm here to talk about our new external range of thrusters. So, Site Power, it's about six plus years ago, they bought this company called Extern out of uh, Austria that made these external thrusters. These are a big chunk of aluminum that's very, very heavy, um, but it is a cool kind of external product. It was designed for a slower moving craft. Think of a sailboat and up and about as a bow thruster. Um, you don't have to cut big holes. Um, when Sidepower bought this company, they fully had the idea of expanding this into their own range and changing this product. Um, so last year, they introduced their range, their first two models of this external thruster. So as a comparison, you'll see here, it's much, more, it's much smaller, compact in size. Um, these thrusters, they're very powerful. They come in two sizes, a 35 kilo thrust and a 50 kilo thrust unit. Basically the same physical size, just a bigger motor inside. This is a 140 mil ID tunnel that's five inches, um, oh sorry, roughly five and a half inches diameter. Um, but they have very high water speed in this tunnel. That 50 thruster is pushing almost 10 meters per second. The back of it actually has holes in here so that we're water cooled on the motor. It's got a basically has a water jacket. As this is all in the water, you'll have water around that motor to help keep it cool. So this product has a fairly long, fairly long run time. It's a lot lighter than this product. It comes kind of in pieces. So you see here are tunnel pieces. So what you're doing is with a rubber mallet, you put these together lay it down and tap them to join the two halves together as an assembly process. Um, it's a little more modular that way. Um, this product also uh, is available as a bow thruster in the water flow. Basically, it's already hydrodynamic, so it's mounted, you know, this way on your transom, okay, or this way under the boat in the water flow. Um, they have a hydro nav add-on parts for this, so that when it's in the water flow, you have the same hydrodynamic shape. The nice thing with this external product is with the growth of outboard power boats, okay? With outboard power boats, there really isn't a very good solution to stern thrusters. We've been doing them for years, putting a tunnel, a bow tunnel, in the outboard uh, support structure, so in that outboard uh, bracket or in the actual boat support structure, so this external product is very nice because it actually will fit, you know, on the back of the boat in between outboards. So, um, you know, Scout has tried it on their, their 53. Um, they're actually using two of them side by side to equal the same performance as the bow. And we have kind of bow and stern uh, proportional thrusters because, you know, this thruster was really only an on-off product. Any side power product now in the DC range is available either as on-off control, single speed, full power on and off, or full proportional control, meaning variable speed from zero to 100%, so a real throttle. Uh, on this product, again, modular base, so we've got add-on of grills, protective grills, so that's, you know, basically no one can get their fingers inside of. Um, it's great for stopping bigger stuff, debris, um, not so great for stopping dock lines, things like that, it'll still find their way through. Um, the cowls, uh, again, all these are made with an edge to fit on the flange, so they're very modular. And the cowls, they rotate around so you can mount these. You have prefix positions. Um, on these other boats, we're looking at different ways to mount this product. Because it is so small, compact, a lot of these small boats, we have a lot of stuff going on in the transoms. Okay, so in the case of your ski wake surf boats, we've got you know, you've got plates, you've got a lot of stainless steel gear back there. So you'll see on some builders, they actually like this mounting position, but they're going to move it aft with a bracket to get it off that transom a little bit spacing. On some other builders, they want to try to mount this thing in a position like this off of your transom over here. So on those, we've developed, uh, with the help of another company, a nice steel stainless steel bracket this bolts onto the transom, so your thruster hangs in this vertical position. You'll see the cutout kind of for your tunnel here. So this would be the starboard side facing you, the camera. So to hang off the transom here, and the nice thing is it positions this farther aft off the transom, and it also gets it deep enough. 
so that we're not having problems with the water line. So that's about it for this exciting new external thruster product from SciPower. If you have any questions, reach out to your Imtra customer service or visit us at www.imtra.com. Thanks and have a great day.